Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the ESL1 Road to Rio. We are here in the CIS side of things here in Group B and Dean there are no controversial or confusing systems today. It's basically just if you win you go through, if you lose you're going home. Yeah, not quite what we had yesterday, where, of course, even after we had Heretics losing to Vitality, they still had the opportunity to go through, and in the end, did, because you see Nip actually been able to get that reverse sweep up against Fnatic. So yesterday was a crazy day, and as you said, today should be a little bit more straightforward, but not meaning that we aren't going to be seeing any crazy CS, because already we have Simple kicking things off, peeking in from Monster, does just spot that one player around that side of the map. So the question is now, how do they react to that? For the moment, still just being electronic, and I believe I was going to say one man who could rotate up quickly, but not yet. So he's just going to back away. Our Legion are gaining some good ground here. They've got a smoke lined up by Sviat as well. So the bomb plant's looking fairly likely at this point, especially as the nades go into the bomb site. Simple smoked off. Doesn't have a clear line of sight. So the bomb can move in safely. They should get this bomb planted at the very least. But Na'Vi continue to frag. Simple gets his second kill. And they're just going to run on in. Electronic is the first man to fall on the Na'Vi side of things. And Krag gets a second kill in the midst of this smoke. But Flamey's come back with two of his own. And it's up to Rage to try and win a 1v3. P250 in hand. They're already on the bomb. Boomich is just sticking this. And Rage cannot land the shots. It's Na'Vi with a nice pistol. A little bit of an opportunity there in the end for Rage with that P250, as you said, ideal re weapon really to be able to tap away at the bomb plant there, just with everyone facing them at once. There were, really wasn't a lot to be done. One thing we didn't know on yet, obviously, is of course, is the map V. Oh, well, we were hopping in, we didn't have much time to chat. So it was Overpass here being the choice of Hard Legion, Dust2, then being picked by Navi, and if needed as a decider, we'd be seeing Inferno. Honestly... Overpass, it did look pretty good for Hard Legion the other day. We got to see them taken down. It was VP, if I recall, but VP themselves didn't look too fantastic. And yeah, right now they're up against Navi. So this is going to be an extremely difficult game from them. But I'm, I'm hoping we see something good. But I mean, most people I don't think are going to be even expecting Hard Legion to be able to take away a map if we're being real. Yeah, I think uh, that Simon game maybe gives uh, Hard Legion some hope because Na'Vi obviously lost against Simon in the series, but more importantly, they lost overpass against Simon 16-4. It was very one-sided. I think that was more just down to a slow start than anything else, though. You would expect Na'Vi to be able to take this series pretty comfortably, and I'd expect them to compete here on overpass as well. But we'll wait and see because Hard Legion have forced into this second round. So they've got a fair few nades. They've got two AKs in play. Definitely a dangerous force by into this second round. Yeah, they were they were loving these force buys in the matchup against VP, if I remember correctly. And it's understandable, as we pointed out, getting the bomb plant does give you a few rifles. And, oh, Kinky going straight up through B-Short. Three players, though, waiting around, so there really wasn't much to do about living. Crad going to get one back and then Rage. As he finds Perfecto around the pillar over on B, are they going to commit now in off the back of this is the question. There is a quick flank coming in through Connector. Simple coming down to see how he can help out, but all of his teammates on that B bomb site just continue to fall. It's Electronic and Simple left to try and save it in the two on four. And there we go. A bit of an opening. That less Simple move in towards Short now at least and set himself up. Yeah, Navi's a dynamic duo looking to see what they can do, but Simple's down to a single point of health. So Electronic on the Famas is going to have to do the heavy lifting and he's not going to be able to do so. Good shot from Forrester and Simple is getting the hell out of there. So Hard Legion gets some success early on this B site here with a Force Spy. They had a couple of AKs, they had their nades, but the AKs didn't have to do too much on the initial push to the site. And then once they got onto the bomb site, they were in a pretty good position to close it out. And now Simple's just going to have to try and save this AK. Understandably so. That Yeah, that just fell apart real quick over on B. We seen kind of the, the trades initially being found, the scout then picking one off, and although they kind of slowed it down before fully committing in, when they did, there was only one more player left on the bomb site itself, obviously, because Simple had been actually trapped in connector, and they left one player there even holding them in position just for a little while, who eventually fell, of course, but they were able to get onto the bomb site in the meantime, get that bomb planted, and confirm themselves the round win. As you said, just an AK being saved over for Simple. He does have a small bit of money left in the bank as well, but everyone else has fully invested. They've gone for pistols, few nades as well, Kevlar where they can. So you can't count them out here, obviously. Simple having an AK is a very dangerous foe to be going up against. But look at this from Forrester, straight out monster in his own. He just doesn't care. He's able to find one, and despite there being a player up close on the corner, we just don't even see the attempted trade.
Yeah, and seeing Hard Legion make confident plays like that right from the get-go, right at the start of this game, is a great sign to see. Because they need to make sure they don't play with fear here, because th there is a lot on the line in this game. We were saying that every team in this group is tied with the same score, two wins, two losses. So you know that it all comes down to this series. And sometimes for, for some of these uh, arguably weaker teams in the group, you could argue that leads to pressure. But Hard Legion are one of the teams that have played uh, majors in the past. They have had some success, and clearly they're not scared here. That first fight going the way of Forrester, and he might look for a bit more if they go for this boost. Oh, yeah, they're going to spot one. Perfecto taking down low. Not the Perfecto spray because it didn't get the kill. But it was pretty hard in that position. Kratz just walked onto A. Yeah, he's going to have a little bit of fun with this one. <laughs> Go down into the spawn, see what he can find with the Smack 10. Might be a little bit of money. Depends if he checks in bank. That was where the, the money, of course, would be waiting, at least on one player. Yeah, comes in towards heaven, gets one. But now he might not expect the flank to be coming in from A. Although bank was the only position on A he didn't uh, clear, he probably at that point would have just presumed that there was no one there, that it was a B stack coming in. And not being the case, Electronic does get the trade and at least get to retrieve that AK. Yeah, a bit of a shame that Simple can get to use that in this round, but Electronic will try his best. Bomb being planted, but Boomich has got another kill, so there's a real chance here as Electronic moves into the bomb site. He almost gets away with a 2k. Kinky just about surviving, and Rage not getting this kill, struggling to find the frag, but he finally lands the shots he needed to. So it's up to Perfecto in a 1v2. We know this man can clutch, but on 12 points of health without the kit here, this is very difficult for him. He's got a smoke, which will help as he cuts off both players' vision from short. And now as he taps the bomb, they may just have to push through that smoke. Perfecto, ready for it, gets the first frag. And even though he's picked up the kit, the time is too far gone. Rage swings out wide to deny the save. And Hard Legion weather the storm early. They're the ones in control here early on. Yeah, I would say that round became a lot closer in the end than Hard Legion would have been hoping for. But yeah, Perfecto, he was in a very difficult spot. He had been one of the players that was tagged up early on, of course, and being left on 12 health against two with no kit in play, the bomb ticking away, being able to even get that extra kill, making it a, a close one in the end and doing that damage. Probably the best they could have hoped for, but obviously the issue is here now it has to be the full eco from Abby. B215 at Eagle just coming out, so we really aren't expecting much in this one. And this is where Hard Legion should, in theory, be able to keep most of their players alive. The one Mac 10 in play, Crad, he can try and build up some money, maybe play as a little bit of a scout. As they are early on again trying to fight over towards B. Forrester challenging around Monster as we had seen even in that previous round. Not afraid at all, and that could be an issue. Blo uh, Boomlich alongside Perfecto actually peek out and find Kinky. The weapons are going to be hard to retrieve, but they have a man advantage. And they've also got Simple pushed up on mid with so much control and info. Now you never want Simple behind you, I think is a, a fair assessment. And Hard Legion right now are not fully watching their flanks. Sviat's looking behind Connector, but Simple's flanking all the way through T-Spawn. So whether Rage is watching that or not, we will wait and see. The bomb is also here. Simple might be about to spot that bomb. The timing is everything here. Simple waiting patiently. Doesn't pull oh. the trigger. This is so patient from Simple, but he seems no. to have been spotted. Rage goes back for it, and he gets the kill. Did he see it or just presume? I don't I'm know. Really not sure right there. Either way, still the three on three, but yeah... I'm at this point, knowing that they were flanked out, that would indicate to them that there very likely is a stack on the bomb site. So just send it in the Mac 10 first. They'll check it out. Crad will get two at least before he goes down. And that lets the two rifles go ahead and securely get that round in favor of Hard Legion. Again, though, only two players surviving. So there really hasn't been any money, any money built up by Hard Legion. They'll spend everything back into this round. As, of course, will Navi now coming onto their first gun round. And this is where if Hired Legion were to pick up this open and gun round where I could really start believing, yeah, okay, they're looking good. Maybe they could actually manage to, to get the victory here for themselves on Overpass. And again, as I said, it is a map that they were able to take down VP on, who obviously aren't on the level of Navi, but it was still a pretty big upset from them. Yeah, I think the entirety of this CIS group, it, it feels like it has been a bit up and down throughout because... It, they, they were able to beat VP on this map, on the Hard Legion side, but then they also lost this map against Espada 16-2. So it's kind of been all over the place. It's, it's been some good results, some bad results for all these teams. Rage, though, taking aggression onto B here. Flamey's got to be careful he doesn't peek out too wide. The nade will do a fair bit of damage. Rage down to 37 health here. He's got the orb, so it's not going to be as big a deal as it could have been, but it's not the ideal start to the round.
Krat's already pushed forward quite aggressively around Batrooms, just trying to get the early control, and it is quite easy for them at the moment with how passive this is being played. You just have Electronic kind of jump spotting it. The rest of them at the moment over towards the B side of the map, because they, they did have just pretty much full control at this point. Navi were extremely limited, so the question is, are they just going to keep this four-man B stack in place, or are they maybe going to risk trying to get a bit more aggressive to get the info and really find out what's going on? Because right now, they push pretty quickly being moved on towards that A bomb site. We will have Boomich coming up to, to give a little bit of assistance to Electronic, who is going to peek in towards Long. Okay, spots out Fiat. At this point, realized that no one else was close on Long, but he does hear quite a bit coming up through short. Krat's going to be the first one to actually lead that charge, finding Boomich coming in, and now Electronic stuck on the bomb site, completely blinded, getting naded and everything. I don't know how he's still alive eventually, though. Being forced to resort to the USB, he's not able to do anything else, and he will fall alongside Flamey. Leaving it now in a two on four without a kick currently in the possession of either of these players. This is going to be an extremely difficult retake for them. Oh, well, here's the reload. So he knows Forrest is playing from truck. Perfecto hoping to get that fight, but Forrest is playing it safe. And actually, Forrest has got a kill elsewhere. Great shots at the end from Hard Legion. Two quick shots to the head. They close out their fourth round win. And I think that round, uh, more than anything, comes down to Na'Vi playing so safe on the A site there. Because even though Electronic goes one for one on the bomb site, Hard Legion was so far pushed up already that the rotate couldn't really come through in time. The rest of Hard Legion were able to get a couple more kills, which made that site take so clean. And it wasn't really about the utility there for them. It was more just about the positioning they got onto the site so quickly. So well done by Hard Legion, especially considering the clock was quite low. They needed a clean site take. They got exactly that, and now Na'Vi are stuck with just a few pistols here in round number six. Yeah, this is not the start I've expected from Na'Vi in this game. It's a very slow one indeed. Not doing a lot in that previous one as well, which is the issue. It did let Hard Legion potentially stabilize their economy. Oh, the time, and oh, he should be able to spot one of them. Yeah, sees the legs just coming around the corner. Did connect a little bit of damage onto two of those players, but unfortunately not able actually to get the kill for himself. So, our Legion, they just get the man advantage. They have obviously the weapons favoring them at this point. They've got a bit of map control over on the B side of things. And it is just Electronic again, who's kind of been entrusted to solo the A side of the map. But he's playing a little bit more aggressively, at least. He was pushed up in the bat room, so as soon as they do actually begin moving up True Connector, which they've done now, he hears those footsteps, he begins to fall back away. And we'll just play in a position where he can try and delay really as long as possible. Ooh, the smoke there. Let's give him a little bit of a chance to play around. The issue is, again, Flamey is now being lost over on that B side of the map. And it looks like they're just going to actually commit with that. And they especially should now after that. Electronic taking down one gets a Mac 10 Yeah, Hard Legion still not committing to this B site. With 30 seconds left here, they have to go to this side of the map. Eventually, they will commit to this. They're not in the best position to use these nades either at Monster. They can use the one Molotov for barrels, but they can't really smoke Heaven too easily. They're just going to have to toss a smoke onto the bomb site and try and clear out these positions. Molotov goes to water, and I think that should keep them safe. Perfecto's making noise. They get the bomb down. Again, good work to just take control of the site without requiring the frags. And, well, Crag gets that kill just before he's blinded by his teammate. So all is good for Hard Legion. They pick up the 5-1 lead. And this is where we really need to see some signs of life from Na'Vi. They've got themselves a gun round into this one. And this is a round they've got to be competing in. Yeah, and if we're going to be fair with them on that previous gun round that they were able to pull out, obviously they were lacking quite a bit. So this is the first full-on gun round. They have the op for simple. They have all the nades that they could really want. And as you said, this is where they do need to start actually adding some more rounds to that board because they won the pistol. They lost up against the force by, and since then it's been five in a row for Hard Legion, which is surprising for most people, I would say. Again, Hard Legion, they are a pretty solid overpass team, but up against Navi, we weren't expecting them to be able to start it off like this. And... Let's have a look. Electronic right now. Again, being kind of the sole man around this A bomb site, at least in terms of being aggressive on his own right now and towards Connector. Boomich trying to go for that jump peek over towards B. Ends up getting caught by the off. And Electronic is also screwed. Mollied out of the corner. Hard Legion already have a two man advantage for themselves. Yeah, it was a nice shot by Rage over on the B side of the map, but then Electronic solo playing connector doesn't have any assistance. So as soon as that Molotov lands, he knows he's screwed. He's basically just relying on them not using nades to clear that position. And unfortunately, Hard Legion decide to use their utility wisely. So with a minute left on the clock and the two-man advantage, 
Definitely feels like Hard Legion's round to lose at this point, but Simple's got one kill back, and having spotted Simple over on the A side of the map, we might just see Hard Legion commit to B here. It does certainly look to be the goal. We've had already a bit of a reaction from the CT side, though coming in, only one from Perfecto. That was a very difficult spot, to be fair. I believe he did have a teammate, a flash come over from a teammate. Simple not able to hit that up shot when he was given the opportunity on the player crossing over. I believe it was Fiat, and once he missed, tried to swing back in. Fiat then, or rather Rage then, was ready from short to come in with his AWP, and Simple isn't able to do anything. Another round comes through from Hard Legion. It's another full-on gun round that they're able to win out as well. And it leaves Navi once, once again, just looking at pistols, Kevlar maybe, few nades if they're feeling, feeling really adventurous in, in this one. But we're looking at a potential 7-1 lead already for Hard Legion. This is crazy so far. Simple considering what he wanted to buy exactly. Oh. He bought Kevlar at the last second as well. He was just jumping team. around and spawn for a while. I was, I was waiting to see what he'd actually buy up. Yeah, I wonder if Na'Vi are using a bit of the time in this round to talk things over. Almost as a, a bit of a yeah, timeout. Yeah, I'd say so. They haven't used their tactical pause yet, so they may as well have a little bit of a chat. They're only on pistols here. Most of their focus obviously being on the next round, so they can they can talk a little bit here early on. It's not like we've been seeing straight up rushes either from Hard Legion. They've been defaulted out and then playing off that off the, the kind of picks they've been finding. Apart from now, three of them rushing up long. I think Simple's heard that. No, sorry, he's actually over. It's electronic, yeah. He may have heard it. Now definitely does. Ends up going down, unfortunately, having the Deagle not ideal at that range. Did do quite a bit of damage to the body, but two wasn't quite enough in that situation, Haka. We've seen yesterday Masuda made an amazing play with the Deagle. Yeah. Six bullets, three kills, all to the body. But yeah, this A-bomb site's fallen now, and I guess the goal for Navi being, since they only have pistol, is to try and get a few exits. Oh, unlucky simple. <laughs> we got the overview of the wall bank. Oh, Flamey's on the edge of that smoke. Oh, no, he's not anymore. Forrest has just ripped his head clean off his shoulders. And Boomich and Perfecto just looking for any damage available at the end here, but there's nothing doing for them. Hard Legion take another clean round win. So the T-side economy is going to be rolling right now. You could already see Rage up to $11,000. Whenever you're an AWPA and you're up to five digits in your bank, you are a very happy man. As for Na'Vi, they're going to have to reinvest all their money into this round. Simple back onto the AWP. We've seen Simple playing on the A side of the map so far with the Sniper, which is what most teams do with their AWPers. They put them around the bathrooms where they can peek into mid. But in the previous round, it was the B site that they lost. And hello, four-man boost for Hard Legion. Looking for that opening pick again. I like this. Swapping it up in another round that, of course, is very important. If they take this, they just start running away completely with that D side lead. So trying to catch them off guard a little bit. The only issue with this is, it's been mentioned before, obviously, because it takes so many players, you are kind of forced to give up a bit of control elsewhere. But since we haven't been seeing super aggressive players around mid or anything from Navi so far, I don't think Hired Legion really minded risking that here in the beginning of the round. And they didn't overcommit to either, but leaving those players in position for a long time. They have all begun to split back out now into the default. And with that, Forrester has caught the aggression from Flamey around short already. A 5 on 4 for Hard Legion. Yeah, and so many times it's these solo fights coming through at the start of the round, which is really helping Hard Legion in a sense, because whenever you get these 1v1 fights, it's going to be much, much easier for you. And credit to Forrester, his aim has been looking impeccable at the start of this game. He's landed some really impressive headshots. He's been very, very solid for Hard Legion. And with this man advantage, Hard Legion are going to feel much more comfortable. But the time is ticking here in this round. 42 seconds left for them to make up their minds. Yeah, it's not a lot of time, but they do have one player still probing around the bathrooms. It seems most likely that they will commit in towards B, and that makes sense. They have three on short right now, one outside monster, and then in terms of the CTs, there's only two here to try and defend from the pit, but Perfecto already getting the opening kill. Had a little bit of help from Boomich, I believe, who's been spotted in that pit as well. They can't do really anything about stopping the bomb plant. Never mind. Fred, they just fake it with that first tap. The issue is now the rotation's being given time down through connector as well. Rage is gone, and it's all on Krat and Forrester to try and save the day. Forrester is still fragging, though. He's actually looking for the ace clutch right now with three to his name already. Pushes out to force the fight against Electronic, brings it down to the one-on-one, -on -one, and he finds Simple as well. Forrester is just insane. I mean, I said it earlier. He's been landing some nice shots, but I didn't expect him to ace this round. Four. Yeah, that is huge. 
having some of these hard legion players show up is massive for them because this is a team we always talked about as, as having a, a good tactical backbone a lot of the time and then maybe not having the ability for the individuals to pop off like that but forrester just wins the clutch it was well played at the end there as well to isolate that fight he used the smoke wisely and then he was able to get that final frag as well and navi are stunned right now eight one down here on overpass even though this is Hard Legion's map pick, I don't think Na'Vi would have been expecting this right out of the gates. No way. Nah, they, they were coming in like, okay, yeah, sure, Overpass is, is a map that Hard Legion are going to be picking and they're going to be feeling comfortable on. But we're Na'Vi. Look at our players. Look what we, we're usually capable of. But no, Hard Legion right now, they are certainly impressing. Forrester, I'm sure, is impressing everyone who's watching them at the moment. As they've again forced Navi back onto just some deagles, a CZ upgraded for Boomich, a few nades, that is it, and already Flamey is gone, they're down into the 4 on 5, we're very likely looking at 9 rounds here for Hard Legion, and at that point, Navi are going to be fighting to try and salvage back up 6 on their CT side, which is not where you want to end it, but it would be a decent recovery considering how it's gone so far. I also wonder whether it's a, a conscious effort from Hard Legion to keep going back to this B site. It feels like they've been favoring this B side of the map more often. And by doing that, they've avoided Simple's AWP on A in most of these rounds. And if Simple's left on a, a B sided retake with the AWP, it's going to be much more difficult for him to come into play. Then again, Simple's the kind of player who's going to switch things up. If he's not getting involved, he's probably going to start making plays. He's probably going to start getting in your face. So that's something Hard Legion have to be ready for. But with 25 seconds left here, Na'Vi have the information in this round. Yeah, setting themselves up with pretty much all of the players when you include Electronic. They're coming in on the flank. Hit a quick shot on the Deagle to get rid of one. It wasn't quite enough, but Kinky is going to be able to deal with the try of the players who are up close at least. Now leaving it all on simple. He's already got one kill to his name, so they do know where he's coming from, obviously. Against three, I mean, if you wanted any man in this situation, you probably would say simple. Kinky's low, so he may have a chance to try and catch just that one body shot. And at that point, bring it down to a one on two. Actually peeks into the op. Had the crosser pretty much lined up as well. Reg just clicks a little bit quicker on the AWP, so there it is, 9-1. Hard Legion able to keep three alive, which really doesn't matter anymore at this point. They've already got a pretty sick economy to probably do them for the rest of this half, if we're being honest. By the time the, the players who are up there around 13,000 right now actually start running out, they would have the loss bonus going if that was kind of how it, the, the game shifted around in momentum. But yeah, Navi back on the buy. They pull out the double up setup now. Yeah, I assume Flamey's orping on the B side of the map. He's generally yeah, been playing over on B. Yeah. Yeah, and he's generally been losing those opening fights over on the B side of the map. So maybe the AWP will help him out. Simple did land that shot at mid there. So you see the aggression attempted to come through. But Simple, no, I thought he was in trouble. But Kinky goes down. Rage able to get the trade though. So a one for one trade on long. And Hard Legion again, make sure they don't lose these early trades. It's not the worst position, obviously, to be in for Navi, but they are forced to give up all this control now very early on in the 4-on-4. Four four. If they could have remained a little bit more aggressive, maybe held onto back rooms and such and delayed Hard Legion a little bit more, then that would have been handy, but not really been able to do so. Forced back off. They do, of course, still have the op of Flamey around on B. In a good position, though, where he's pushed up a bit on short, so he'll be able to find that info a little bit earlier if Hard, Le if Hard Legion do move back in that direction. So that is one positive. 50 seconds left, though, so hardly you need to make this decision really soon. And with the bomb positioned over on long, you do have to presume that they are going to try and end it on A. Now, Overpass in general is one of the slowest maps, probably the slowest map we have in the map pool right now, but Hard Legion continue to run down the clock in these rounds. They've been happy to do so, using a couple of nades over on A, and Flamey will be yeah. tested here on the B-bomb site. Oh. Not in that first shot, unfortunately. The player jumping out of connector. He heard the door open, tried to swing in him deep with that, and didn't quite catch the timing for himself. Krato is ahead of the rest of his teammates, going into that short smoke. Seeing fallen rage being taken down elsewhere. Eventually, Forrester will return. The Where's man the who so far has been nearly unstoppable. Yeah, the bomb ran back up. That's what I was wondering. Once they lost the, the player over on short, once Krat, I think it was, went through the smoke and died, he, the bomb just started running back. I was really curious. Because he wasn't close enough. I think he had only gotten out a connector at that point. And as soon as his teammate died, he was like, oh, I'm going to stop. And then maybe start running back up A. Maybe there was a call made to go back A after they, they got smoked off and such. But there just wasn't time. And maybe they didn't realize, unfortunately, until it was a little bit too late. That was just an awkward one. But yeah, Navi, off the back of it, they do get themselves their second round. They survive with three. Importantly, they do at least keep one of the ops up. 
And Flamey's going to huh. stick on it for now. Yeah, I, I guess they've been having some issues holding the B site, so maybe they want to have Flamey's orb there. Back to this boost for Hard Legion, though, and oh dear, Rage has fallen off that one. That will cause the boost to be disassembled. They don't want to try assembling that one once again. But yeah, we've got to see what Flamey can do with this orb on the B side of the map. Taking it out of Simple's hands is a bold call. But I think they want to make sure they can try and lock down this B bomb site. And Flamey here looking at Monster, trying to see if there's a fight for him once this smoke fades. Yeah, they've been having a lot of success around here, so it does make sense. As you had said, though, with the adjustment now of the op in the hands of Flamey, he's up close on Monster, so he will be looking to try and pick them off before they can come in. The issue is, if they all push together, then it's going to be hard for him to find really more than one without the help of his teammates, that is. Perfecto does pop in alongside the Flash. Looked like he may have been able to line up the second player there, but nah, Rage barely taking any damage, does manage to return, and even retrieves the bomb now. So with this kind of two for two trade, with still 50 seconds, they could just slow this down. But they were trying to work that boost there above the smoke over on short, and unfortunately, Boomich, around the edge of the smoke, was able to spot it, and now again feeling the pressure to try and pull back a kill here for Hard Legion. And the time is becoming a little bit of, uh, a little bit of an issue now, for sure, because they, in theory, could be getting flanked from Connector. I think they are being a little bit cautious. Yeah, they're really hoping for just one pick here, which would allow them to get onto the bomb site. But with the time being so low, Na'Vi realize that they're the ones that can just sit back and force Hard Legion to push forwards. And that is not the time to peek with a smoke in your hand. Simple's ready for Rage's position. And with 12 seconds left, Crad can't win this. The bomb is too far away from him. He can try and frag out. He almost gets the lineup. But Simple is able to get the kill on the hold. And Na'Vi finally getting some success here. A third round on the board. There were so many flashes in those initial exchanges on B as well. I, I think both teams got blinded for such a long time. It looked like it was going to favor Hard Legion initially, but Na'Vi countered with some good flashes of their own to make sure they could hold on to that B site. So that was really well played. Yeah, no, it was a little bit awkward. I saw Flamey for sure was blinded up for pretty much the entire time up until he did die. So with the op, obviously, that wasn't making things easy for him. But yeah, another round from Navi. They've brought it back to three. As we said, if they can recover back to six rounds, it is a decent position to be in, especially if you get off to a good start down on your second half, get the pistol, bounce back. But there's obviously still quite a few opportunities here for Hard Legion to try and even add just one or two more rounds themselves, bring it up to d double digits even, and at that point be feeling quite comfortable. Focusing back on this long control. We've seen this earlier on from them. They are going to be taking it quite slow for the moment, and they still have a couple players working around Connector as well. So I guess maybe expecting those Navi players over towards B to push up aggressively and try and find a little bit of info about what's going on, and perhaps then with that, of course, move an intro Connector for a flank if they were to move towards A. So they're just covering their bases for the moment while they wait. But no, Navi, they have kind of a bit of a read about what's going on because they do have, again, Flamey posted up on short with that op watching towards Connector. So they've been allowed to actually stack three on towards the A-bomb site. Ooh, simple. Wow. Okay, that's a quick shot. Crad has no clue what's just hit him because Simple goes jumping around the corner with the AWP. And it lands a fast flick to start this round. And now Hard Legion don't have many nades left to go back to B here. Two smokes and a single flashbang for them. And considering Flamey has an AWP, that could be a real problem. Because if Flamey's not affected by nades, he could just snipe down multiple players. 25 seconds here. Hard Legion have to commit to this. But they are going to be really playing with the clock here. Yeah, I mean, if the bomb gets dropped at all, then this round is probably done. The issue is Flamey has now been surrounded by players, manages to get one. He's going to look to try and stop the bomb plant, but can't hit the shot. So it will at least go down, given a small chance to Hard Legion, but they are severely outnumbered. It is all on Rage, and yeah, I don't think he's going to be really having too much of a chance in this one. Actually, hits the leg shot on Electronic, but not enough for the kill. will go down in the end, so yeah, Navi can throw it another round. A flawless one as well, without taking a single casualty. That's handy for them because it has left them in the position over where for the last couple of rounds at least they're not going to be worrying about their economy. And they have finally actually begun to run down the, the money for Hard Legion. There's enough obviously for the buy here in this round. But if they weren't to get a bomb plant then going into the next one, there could be a player or two maybe a little bit low on money. Perhaps they'd be lacking the up or so. So this is a good opportunity. You see the pause is being called in by Hard Legion realizing that, okay, we're going to give this away a little bit. Sure, it's only four rounds for Navi so far, but they're Navi. We don't want to let them get this momentum and confidence going. It's definitely nice to see some of the other players on Na'Vi 
fragging decently well as well because the, the problem Navi have had, especially in this tournament, has been that they've just been a one-man army. It's just been Simple showing up here in the road to Rio. Simple has a 1.46 rating for this tournament. The next highest teammate for him in this tournament is Flamey and Electronic, who both have a 1.02 rating which is just not even close to the level that Simple's been hitting. So some of the other players joining Simple at the top of the scoreboard this time round. And we'll see what Hard Legion decide to do. They've been pretty slow so far throughout this T side. So we might see a switch up here. They're already taking early short control in this round. Yeah, going back to what was working for them earlier on. Again, of course, that monster true to smoke, though. It's a very dangerous approach. And you see the, the first player being blinded. That was Kinky Forster. Then coming true to smoke may as well be blind, not being able to see what's on the other side. And it just looks easy for Navi up to this point. Only a single trade from Crad. I do know where both of these remaining players are. A little bit of a gap in the smoke as well. Simple watching for it. Doesn't quite manage to get a shot off of the V. But again, a four on two. This is looking much better from Navi. They really have taken it up a notch over these past few rounds. And question is, can they keep it up now? Hard Legion, they do still have some time, so they're looking to see what they can recover. They know at least that they have the connector control, so that does give the option to move back up towards A if they want to. And you can see Rage is looking to see if there's any picks maybe available for the op. Yeah, going back up to the A side of the map might be the answer here for Hard Legion to have a chance in this round, but... Rage is fully alone. He was just faking that out. It's drawing rotates, though. Crad's got a chance to do something here, but as he moves into B, Simple's ready for him. And now Rage can probably think about saving the AWP at this point. A couple of shots being exchanged. 20 seconds left on the clock, and Na'Vi are going to have their fifth round win. So they've salvaged this half somewhat. They've got at least five rounds on the board. They can make it six as well. They've put themselves back in contention in this game, which was the most important thing. And Rage should be good to carry this orb over into the final round of the half. So I think Hard Legion will be generally okay on the buy, maybe having a couple of weaknesses, but their economy was so strong that it was always going to be difficult to break it at any point in this half. Yeah, that's what we had mentioned. What was it? One point at one point Forrester and Rage were both sitting above 13,000 with their full investments already in. So, yeah, Hard Legion, they, they kind of secured their money over those first few rounds. Even though they weren't the most convincing, they were still able to actually build up the bank quite well, which was a little bit surprising. But, yeah, they've ran it down finally. The issue is for Navi, it's going into the final round of the half. There's still enough for Hard Legion to get everything they want, apart from Crad, who is stuck on a Galil, but it's not the end of the world. They still have an overall good investment right now to try and pull out 10. Which would be nice. Uh, ideally, they do want to add one more here. Nine still isn't a bad number to end the half. Well, obviously, it's a fantastic T-side. But you have seen the momentum shift back a little bit towards Navi over these past four rounds. Simple hasn't been tested too often in these bathrooms so far in this game. But he might get a chance to show his worth in this round. Missed jump on the first attempt. Flash goes over the top. It's currently simple and electronic holding the A bomb site, which is a scary couple of players to be running into if you're hard legion. But they're not going to be committing to anything just yet. Simple thinking of going aggressive. He hears these steps and he gets the shot to go his way. Good start to the round from Simple. He is stuck in the bathrooms for now, but he's got some nades to help him get back to safety. And hard legion are unable to close the distance. So Simple will get out with his life. Yeah, that's exactly what you want. Just get the advantage, fall back, and at that point, play off of it. Even given a little bit of a chance there with this Fiat. Not going to reface, realizing, okay, yeah, he jump peeked at the bait out the shot. There could be another couple players now beside him ready for that peek to come in. So just going to play alongside his teammates on the bomb site. And there is a really good setup right now. Ready to hold down this A bomb site. Crad, though, hits the instant headshot. Electronic has a player already coming in from long. And Kinky and Fiat just clear up the A bomb site. It is all on Flamey and Perfecto. With Flamey pulling back one, they are in a two on three so you can't count them out it is they have the kits to work with as well nades wise though only a couple of flashes so that is not fantastic and with the op on flamey who's extremely low as well you really have to look towards perfecto to, to try and push in and find these openings 
Ooh, Forrester unable to get the kill he was looking for. Perfecto with a quick headshot gives them a decent chance on this retake. Bombs planted a truck and Na'Vi have only just figured that out now. Flamey trying to hold, but Perfecto's just going to lock this in. He's going to... No, he's not. He's off the bomb. And I don't know if there's time anymore. Kinky just playing the clock and Perfecto has run out of time. He gets the kill, but he's not going to get the round. Hard Legion come away with a 10-5 half. They will be very happy with that. Well, Na'Vi were able to claw their way back into that half somewhat, but only five rounds on the board heading into their T side. My name is Hawker, joined by Dean here in the road to Rio, and Na'Vi have got a long road ahead of them here on Overpass if they want to win this map, Dean. Yeah, and with the, the way this group is at the moment, pretty much if you want to make it true, you have to get yourself to victory. So obviously there is still the, the possibility that if Hard Legion were to win this best of the three, that we could see Na'Vi not passing on, not moving through. So... I mean, yeah, this is an exciting game. There's a lot on the line. Hard Legion, they ended that first half fairly well, pulling back their 10th round. And if they're able to actually pick up the opening pistol here on their CT side, then Navi are going to be in a lot of trouble, at least here on this opening map. A slow one so far from Navi. Eventually moving in towards connector and up through mid, which would indicate they're probably going to split up, try and get the batch rooms control. Move on towards that A side of the map. And for the moment, there is a two-man setup around here. They're going to send one up close on long, I presume. Krat, I think, is going to actually look to try and peek this. I was going to say likely to just play up close and have his teammate back at the science button as well. But no, tries to go forward for info, ends up getting spotted by Simple. And with that, does go down. Simple with a P250 and a pistol round is always going to be a nice chance for Na'Vi to get the opening kill. You get the longer range headshot ability with the P250. Simple not able to connect this time round, but Boomich certainly can. The Glock's closing the distance onto the A-bomb site, and this should be a relatively easy bomb plant, and realistically a relatively easy round for Na'Vi at this point, as they have a two-man advantage and the bomb down safely on this A-site. Yeah, they, they should struggle to lose this round even if they wanted to, but obviously that isn't the goal. They have a five on three right now. They'll be playing the time on that bomb and making it as difficult as possible for Hard Legion to move in towards the bomb site. And yeah, just all swinging together once they find contact. Sharing the kills out as well. Not quite the team ace. Flamey wasn't able to get one. He was just chilling back in the bathrooms, I believe, waiting for a, a flank potentially up connector. But Navi, they get the sixth round. They're able to pick up that second pistol. But reminder, they did win out the first pistol of this map as well. And then ended up losing to the force by and off the back of that dropped nine rounds in a row. So they can't let that happen again, obviously. Yeah, it's, it's literally impossible for them to yeah. lose the nine rounds in a row this time round. But they, they'll lose they could lose the game. They'll be like, we'll just keep going, guys. It's grand. 19-6 <laughs> for the first time ever in CS history. No, th this force buy definitely one that Na'Vi are going to have to be aware of. You can see that they've brought a fair few rifles into this round as well. Simple's got the AK, which should help them weather the storm of the pistols in this round. Forrester currently uh, being boosted up. We've been singing his praises throughout the first half. We'll see if he can continue to land shots. As Na'Vi tests the waters, but don't commit to too much early in this round. Well, until now, where Simple actually is pushed up close on Monster with the flash, they have a chance to maybe steal that rifle away, but Boomich recovers with the MAC-10, just about grabs the AK. He did have to toss the MAC-10 in, but I don't think they're really too worried about giving away an SMG in this position. They've got rifles on everyone else, so it's not too big of a deal. But we are seeing Navi after having a little bit of trouble there around Monster in the beginning, pretty much backing everyone off now to start trying to get some control around A, just leaving that one player in connector, of course, who can hold for the rotations up if we do actually see those CTs pushing through. Which for now, it's just Forrester. He's playing up close on connector. Surprisingly, they're going to be fully stacking B. I thought they were just going to leave him alone around this position because he could obviously get the info if they were to rotate back down towards B. But I guess, yeah, take the gamble. If, if it works, if they were to come B, obviously you have three players in position to try and hold off the bomb site. If they don't, at that point, you're very likely just going to have to save your pistol and your Kevlar, but they're moving in. Perfecto pulling the trigger gives away his position, and he's chunked down to six points of health. Forrester also took a ton of damage in that exchange, though. Hard Legion here without the kit, unlikely to be attempting the round win, as you were saying. But they are sticking around, maybe looking for a kill or two. I think it's probably more important for them to just save their weapons at this point. Maybe just hold positions where if a player pushes you, you'll probably get the kill. But 
I think the most important thing is holding on to those pistols, try and keep on the pressure into the next round, especially Sviat, who has the MAC-10 and the 5.7. He can drop two weapons into the next round. And Na'Vi will get themselves a seventh round win. So after a strong start in this game for Hard Legion, Na'Vi are now starting to come back into this. And you, you do see games like this sometimes, where the underdogs come out hot, they get themselves going early, but then once the more experienced... Yeah, it, I mean, that's that's kind of what you, you, you need from those underdog teams to be able to get those good starts. And that's what separates them then from becoming a top team, being able to actually close the games, being able to being able to be competitive when it is scrappy and sometimes you're working with some of those weaker investments when everything isn't going your way of course and yeah navi certainly have begun to bounce back they they recovered quite well towards the end of that first half especially being able to pull out at least four rounds on top of the initial pistol giving themselves five a little bit of room here to work with on their t side and obviously they are very likely now looking at an eighth round for themselves but again up against a little bit here from the ct side they can't completely count them out umich did push up close and monster into a position where we see in simple actually suffer in the previous round because of it but back in a way, finds that opening instead onto Kinky and Crad. Oh, heard, heard the reload. Masani wanted to push up off the back of this and will be able to return one on Flamey. Not sticking around for the weapon though. Instead, expecting this player to be coming through connector soon. Although as it doesn't immediately show itself, he will eventually begin to move back in towards short. So a, a good bit of control being found for Hard Legion. Yeah, there's definitely a bit of danger here for Na'Vi. I'm sure that's in the back of their minds as they move into the B-bomb site. Forrester rattling off some shots with the Desert Eagle, but in comes Perfecto from Connector. That kill should really help settle the nerves in this round as Simple gets another shot for his team. And at this point, I think Na'Vi are pretty safe in this round. Should be their eighth round. Sviat's going to hang around, see if he can get some kills with the Desert Eagle. Again, just try and remove some of the weapons from the opponent, but the round is all but over at this point. Ray's just sitting in Connector with the USP. Or the knife, whichever he wants to use. I don't know if he's going to get the chance to use either of them, though, really. Yeah, maybe not. I, I don't know if Navi will really bother heading in this direction either. Since they have Electronic already out towards Monster, they likely will just exit over towards that area. Make sure that they save all of their own weapons. Don't risk any being retrieved by Rage in this position. And yeah, they are indeed just beginning to back away together. So yeah, going to be going to be living over here at least. Applied's given an extra $300 to the players of Navi. Obviously, he had no chance of actually gaining anything himself from going in unless he was to somehow steal away a weapon, which was kind of the hope if they came towards him. But he has plenty. He gets his off out here either way. The rifles and such going to be going to be plentiful alongside a decent amount of nades. One player may have to sacrifice a bit, though, if they do want to pull out a kit. Sviat has only bought body armor so far, so he'll likely get it. Yeah. Going for helmets on most of the players, knowing that there was still some Galils in play as well, that certainly makes sense. But Hard Legion, they need to try and bounce back here early on on their CT side and pick up this open and gun round. Otherwise, I'm going to be worried because, as you said, once Navi start getting momentum going, they are very difficult to stop. Oh, the nade Ooh. stack. Not bad. Do Good. Quite as much as I thought it would. Yeah, I, it was two nades there, right? So mm -hmm. I was expecting a bit more, maybe. Boom, it's only down to half health. Crad holding down long with the M4 in hand. That jump spots some opponents, and he realizes he might not want to take that fight. Backs on out of there. Hard Legion playing pretty safe at the start of this round. I think for what it's worth, I feel like Hard Legion did a, a pretty good job in that first half at avoiding Simple quite a lot and, and trying to limit the impact that Simple could have. But you can't do that on the T side. If Simple wants to go and take fights here on the T side, he can just do that. So that's something that Hard Legion have got to be ready for heading into this second half. And with a minute left on the clock, Na'Vi still playing across the map, still just feeling things out across the board. That Molotov lands in the sky. Not what Boomich was hoping for, but it shouldn't make it... Massive difference. Time's beginning to really uh, wither down, though, at this point. They do need to get a quick move on towards one of these bomb sites, and they haven't really covered the, the control around bathrooms as of yet. You see Krat is still up close, which is a position that may not be expected. Surprisingly, this spot does catch people off guard a lot more often than it should. Okay, actually just gonna pop out. Gives a bit of time to try and get the smoke down. Follows up with one more, and that was massive. Now he gives them the man advantage. You see 18 seconds left for Navi as they move forward, and Forrester alongside Rage, ready to trade out after Fiat finds contact, and there it is. Hard Legion on that opening gun round come true, take it quite convincingly for themselves. 
and give, give an opportunity now for them to start actually building up some rounds here on the CT side. Obviously, there's enough for one more gun round, though, from Navi. I think that Boomich's missed molly was meant to land in that position as well. Oh, really? I think so. I'm not entirely sure, because the way it bounced, it looked like it bounced off the, the top of the, the bathrooms, like that it was going to land down there. I, I'm not entirely sure, but either way, not it. clearing that position was pretty costly with Crag getting those two kills. And now Na'Vi have got themselves into a position where both teams are short on money heading into this round, or at least they don't have money in the bank. They've got the full buy for this one, but whoever loses is going to have some question marks in the future round, and Forrester being boosted up. Oh, Flamey not ready for it. Nice kill from Forrester to kick things off in round number 20. Yeah, taking down Flamey, who has been having a tough game so far. Down on 7 to 14, as we said, was struggling a little bit towards B when they were on that CT side. We had Hard Legion really focus in that position as well, so it was kind of amplified by that. But now here on the T side, Navi, if they end up losing this one, as you said, they're going to be in trouble trying to really buy and get all into the following round. So this one is so crucial if they want to continue actually building up this comeback here for themselves. And so far as they pressure around the map, looking to try and pull back some kills to try and pull back anything in their favor, it's just not working out. Boomich falls, they smoke off Monster like, okay, we're not going to give you any chances for those trades to be found back. We have a five on three. We're feeling good as the time again is becoming an issue for Navi. Less than 40 seconds remaining and... For now, I mean, believe the bomb's going to be backing off a little bit. Yeah, they're just looking to save. Ooh. Navi have been, Navi been known to save in their day. Yeah, no, this makes sense. We said, obviously, the economy going to be quite a big issue for them in this next round. Even then, though, what, 1900 comes in for Flamey. He's not going to have enough to buy. It's not going to be enough, obviously, for Boomage to buy either. So we'll probably just maybe see pistols and Kevlar around those weapons, or perhaps they'll just take the eco, but obviously the issue is then Perfecto and Simple won't get any money from this round, so their money will be thrown off going into the round afterwards when the rest of them will be able to actually buy. So we'll see what they do. Yeah, it is a, a tough position because you are 12-8 behind now, so if you if you make the, the wrong call or if you go for the full force and then lose the round, it's going to be really costly. But at the same time, like you said, uh, it's kind of whatever happens, someone's money is not going to be great at some point. It's either you don't get the nice buy in this round or some of your players probably don't have money into the future round. And, well, there's the decision being made. Boomich and Flamey both buying what they can, investing fully into this round. So a lot of pressure on this round now for Na'Vi. If they lose this, they're going to fall pretty far behind in this game. And to try and get the opening pick, they're going for this boost of their own. Yeah, we've seen this from Hard Legion back on their T side. They didn't really get to use it. I don't even know if it was spotted back then. So let's see if it's going to be effective for Navi, maybe. I'm trying to use that up. Of course, being limited on weapons, if they were to get that kill early on into the round, it would be a fantastic pickup, a nice little opening for them. But it also means, again, as we said before, that they are going to be leaving a lot of the areas of the map open for the taken. And if Hard Legion decide to aggress, which they did in towards Connector, then it's going to be very difficult for Navi to work back in and get control for themselves. And... You see, Flamey just had no idea. Dropping down into connector, Crad was ready. Brings them an advantage for what is now the third round in a row, I believe, in favor of Hard Legion. As we just left, we just under a minute remaining now. Navi only beginning to move in towards middle to start actually trying to find something for themselves. And they still have to deal with that connector player. Cla uh, Crad could be in trouble, though. Yeah, a little bit awkward of a time to back away there. I thought he was just going to stay in towards connector. At least there's some damage on electronic. But he goes down and maybe gives Navi an opening back into this now. Rage and Sviat holding this A-bomb site in tandem. The Orp holding this initial angle while Sviat waits close by. 28 seconds now. Na'Vi have really got to get a move on here. Electronic might be in trouble. Sviat gets that kill and now he knows there's no one else on short. They should be aware it's likely a B play here. 18 seconds and they have to go through this smoke. Forrester's ready for it. Quick headshot onto the first man and Na'Vi are looking dazed in this round. There's not much left for them to do but they get some kills back. Maybe they can win this. Six seconds and Simple gets another shot. It's all on Rage and he can't deny the bomb plant. Simple has saved this round alongside Perfecto, they managed to make it work. And that's a round that Na'Vi probably shouldn't have won, but they just win it by sheer force on the B site. Yeah, they just 
power their way in. I was still a little worried there in the end, I'm not going to lie, when Rage was left in the one on two, because Simple was posted up on the CT spawn, so he clearly thought, uh, thought that the player hadn't come out yet. I was thinking, oh, we might actually be able to catch them off guard, but nah, perfecto. He said, nah, we need this round, we need to bounce back and start getting something again here on our T side if we want to make this a, a map that we can actually win out. And of course they do so, you see Hard Legion spending all of their money to pull out this buy, and even then, a FAMAS and an MP9 being kind of limiting factors there for both Krad and Forrester, so it is not perfect. This is a big opportunity if Navi get this round, and likely going to be going up to 11 off the back of it. Again, we're seeing this connector aggression from Krad. Obviously, this time not quite as aggressive, only peeking in a little bit later on, didn't push all the way through to get the control, but he will come out on short. Flamey being blinded, actually given a bit of time to recover, but Krad eventually pops in before he can get the vision back, and... Yeah, man, advantage to connect their controller. Good stack again for Hart. What? Is he going to go through the smoke? Krad is mad. Ooh. Oh my god, and it works. He's just crazy. He doesn't care. Krad and Forrester have been insane, man. With a fam ass as well. Like, it's it's not like you've got the instant one-shot headshot. You're just relying on being so quick that your opponent can't react. And, well, he gets away with it. Perfecto, not ready for the player in the connector smoke. And now Na'Vi have got to come through with some more heroics to win this round because once again, their money isn't great. If they lose this round, they're going to be in trouble. All three players pushing from A long. They're going for this three-man boost, but Hard Legion, I don't think, are exposed from it right now. Simple waiting, but with 30 seconds, they can't wait up on this boost for too long. And no one from Hard Legion is showing themselves until... Oh no! Simple misses the freebie, and now Na'Vi have to go! Simple, trying for the no-scopes at the moment. Wasn't able to connect, but he does have the help of Boombitch, who gets two. And also forces Rage Ooh. back off that short angle. Simple, though, he has four seconds. He can't do anything anymore, despite that crazy no-scope. He just doesn't have the time. Krad is there. He gets the return again. And, oh, God, that, that was... That, again, comes down to the wire. We're seeing Navi, despite having these kind of disadvantages early on in the round, being able to just brute force their way in with the individuals that they have. But they need to play out the early parts of these rounds a little bit more successfully. To be fair there, you can't expect Krad to be that mad. You, you just can't. He's a mad lad. But they do need to call in the pause, and the economy of Navi off the back of losing that round has been completely shattered, especially on towards Simple and Electronic, who are looking at a double eco. Simple missing that opening shot is so unfortunate as well. When you're up on those three-man boosts, you do slide sometimes. So I'm not sure if that came into play there, but, but it looked like to me that he just missed the shot straight up. It's sometimes hard to tell exactly if a player is moving or not, but yeah, this is a tough call for Na'Vi into this round. It's looking like the full save for them. Not a single penny invested into this round right now. They finally buy something. A Deeg, I think, dropped into Simple's hands to try and do anything in this round. But it's not looking very likely for them. It's basically just down to Simple to be the best player in the world, which uh, he can do. There's always a chance. Yeah, it... There's always the opportunity for Simple to step up and, let's be real, just single-handedly win a round. But right now, up against the boys on Hard Legion, who are playing well, who I don't think are going to be given those opportunities over, then it shouldn't be too big of an issue. But let's see. Simple, for the moment, he is going to be working around bathrooms with his Deagle, everyone else right behind them. So the second he does find contact or find the potential opening, they are just going to try and just, try and just swarm that bomb site. The issue is... There's already three players in position, including this MP9 for Sviat, which is just coming up close against Kevlarless opponents as well. That is going to be ideal for him. And yeah, he's actually dealt with the Deagle. The bomb as well was on Simple. So at this point, they know that the commitment was coming in towards this side of the map. And yeah, they just set themselves up. They hold it down, taking only one casualty as it was Fiat and the MP9 to fall, which I don't think they're too worried about. 14-9, Hard Legion have gotten themselves very close to that finish line now here on map number one. I mean, the money's still not perfect. It's not ideal for Na'Vi, but this is obviously what they were saving for. Boomich buying a Galil. Perfecto Galil. Electronic also with a Galil. Simple only has a Desert Eagle. And then Flamey's the one man with a premium rifle. The one man with an AK in his hands. So they've really made sure to get the nades here on the Na'Vi side in this round. As the mid Molotov is missed by Hard Legion. Rage will stick around. 
But with Electronic having already pushed into playground, he has to fall back from that position. There is a player committed to A long though. Krad's pushing up here and he's got to be careful because his aggression worked in the earlier rounds, but this time he might be caught out here. Oh, no, he does still find the first kill and taking out simple. That's a, a big name to claim. That's an advantage that you're probably going to be happy with finding. Unfortunately, he doesn't manage to escape away. To escape away, he does end up falling immediately to electronics. So this time, Navi finding something that they weren't able to in quite a few of those rounds earlier on. They're able to at least get the return on that first blood when it goes in favor of Hard Legion. So they don't let them get comfortable. They don't let them set themselves up in any sort of five on fours, just back on the bomb sites, running down time, which has been a bit of an issue as well. We are seeing the CTs maybe feeling a bit of pressure. They, they've been willing to go for this aggression pretty much constantly, and I feel like it's been working out well for them all the time. And yeah, we're seeing Rage again pushing up on the long batch rooms right now. He's going to find a lot of info from this soon, which could then allow for Sviat to actually rotate back down. Especially once they hear these nades into the B site, I think Har Legion will realize what's hitting them. Flamey going in first, gets the initial frag, and Kinky also hits the deck. Good kills from Navi onto the B bomb site, and Sviat on the rotate isn't there in time. Rage with three players against him is unlikely to be winning this round with the AWP. He's waiting to see if he's going to be given a gift, but Navi are not in a giving mood right now. They're going to be playing it safe. And that will be a 10th round win. Almost guaranteed for Na'Vi at this point. Rage isn't even going to attempt this. So Na'Vi keep themselves going in this round. And remember that the Hard Legion economy is also not perfect. Rage saving this AWP will be nice. But some of the other players could also have some issues here. So this is really starting to get down to crunch time now, Dean. Yeah, there's... The there is certainly some issues, I guess, to, to put it the way you did. Kinky obviously only having 500 there on top of the, the minimum loss bonus that they get of 1,400 is going to be nowhere near enough to buy. Even going into the next round, when he gets 1,900, he'll be sitting on 3,800, of course, which is okay if you want to get an M4 in body armor. But anything more than that, really, and you're still a little bit short to the buy. So it looks like they are willing to buy around the AWP that they saved over. Rage could drop over a FAMAS, as could Forrester, but then they'd be limiting the nades. So that's another question you're wondering, okay, do they want to do that? Or do they just want to spend what spare money they had? And yeah, looks like that's going to be the goal. Understandably, they're up 14 to 10. They can afford to kind of just keep themselves in a in with a chance here, if not to win this round, to at least take down a few players and then give themselves a good opportunity moving on into that next gun round to try and break the economy, which obviously Navi could not allow happen at this point. Otherwise, they'd be screwed. Oh, we're seeing the boost, though, for the rifle over towards Graffiti. That could be dangerous if Navi move in this direction. It's normally good to be able to catch at least one kill and then at that point, of course, just back away. Yeah, Forrester could afford to treat himself in this round, like you were saying. He's got the M4. Always got to treat yourself sometimes. Might as well spend the money if you've got it. And he will be the man on top of the boost. Electronic here is alone on the A side of the map. If he were to lose his life, he'd be a bit disappointed with that but he's playing pretty safe Shocked. right now they're still sticking on that boost on the hard legion side we'll see if that comes into play because right now navi are more focused on monster and they can walk out through monster pretty easily in fact they're going to move on to this site yeah forrester is going to eventually get this opportunity and with that, does get one kill. Unfortunately, losing everyone else, including the Op of Rage, now means that Forrester really has to get it all done. He's been playing fantastic, to be fair. But his two teammates only having USP is it's going to be a difficult one. And while completely blinded, Simple manages to catch the wall bang. There was a little bit of a chance there for Kinky as he managed to creep through the smoke. Nearly lined up two players with a USP. If he had any other weapon there, he probably did have two kills for himself. So that's a little bit unfortunate. But again, Hard Legion, they had very little investment into that round. So they're not too worried. They bought the 1M4 up, obviously, which... For Forrester does leave him in a little bit more of an awkward spot. So, yeah, they're deciding to just go for the one eco here. As I had said, Kinky was going to be on 3800. I think he did manage to get a little bit more for himself, but it still wasn't quite enough for the full investment. So, taking the safer approach. Hard Legion, they're playing for the perfect buy in this next round to try and just go ahead and close this one out. Ooh, that's a fair bit of damage from that Molotov. Electronic and Simple, both touched by the flames early into this one. Navi taking the A-long control early. 
I wonder if Na'Vi will be aware they're against the weak buy here, or whether they think they might be against the full investment, because it was definitely on the edge of Hard Legion, but now they've spotted the Deeg. Electronic has the information he needed, and he's got the opening kill for his team. The CZ goes for the wide swing off the back of the flashbangs, but Krad is not going to be successful in his endeavors. And now Na'Vi should have a fairly easy time closing this one out. This round, at least. Not this game. Not just yet. Nah, they've still a, a ways to go until they get their Hawker. Can't be getting Unless themselves. you can see the future, no? I wish I could, Dean. I'd be a very rich man. Yeah, that would, it would be a pretty cool superpower. Uh, well, maybe as not. long as you don't Depends see things about yeah, what the future is. Yeah, there's, there could be very bad things in our future, Dean. <laughs> Svia yeah, and Forrester, though, still trying to see if they can at least contribute a small bit of damage with the investment they did put into this round, because they yeah, they got pistols, they got Kevlar on some players as well. Ideally, they don't want to be letting all five live for Navi. At that point, they'd be building up a, a pretty decent economy going into the final few rounds of this map, and there's one going down. If Forrester can get a second, then they'll be uh, they'll be feeling pretty good, but nah, not allowed. Perfecto going to be there to finish it off. Four live for Navi. It is now two rounds in between these teams as Hard Legion... It might be sweating just a little bit. They, they've only had a couple moments of success so far here on the CT side. Obviously, off the back of the first gun round, they were able to chain together two. They then lost one and then brought it back for two again in a row. But now we've seen again the kind of momentum shifting back towards Navi. And it took them a while to break it the last time it did. So that's my worry. If you have just joined us, it is crunch time here on Overpass. In a very important best of three for both of these teams, the winner goes through, the loser goes out. It's as simple as that for all these games here in Group B, because all the teams are tied on the exact same record. So it is very much pressure on at this point in the game. Orp of Rage has been playing very passive so far. 12 kills, 11 deaths for him. He's not able to get involved at the start of this round either. As Na'Vi again take this slow default, looking for map control across the board. A bit of damage done by Flamey, but it looks like Na'Vi are just going to stick with this slow style, slowly taking map control and then working from that. Yeah, that is kind of normally how it's done here on overpass because if you want to rush normally it is just going to be over towards b if you start rushing towards the a side of the map it takes you quite a while to get there it gives the abilities for the cts to react so just going out for these defaults as they have been finding good success off them so far not the case in the beginning of this round though as you see actually the opening kill gone in favor of crad on the up so that's the secondary up out for harry legion finding some success and off the back of that navi they feel forced to just commit on towards b where there is already quite a few players most of them being back in the spawn to be fair but the boost over from the up may not be expected it could give the opportunity for maybe even one more kill to be snatched fortunately with the smokes down for now they are given some safety to get that bomb planted but look at this forester already up on top of the bomb site Trying to sniff them out at this point, but once that smoke fades, he may be able to spot them. Simple misses the first shot. Now they know where the AWP is, and Simple misses again. It might be up to the rifles to keep him safe here because they're closing the distance, and Sviat gets the opening kill of the retake. Trade's coming through. Simple finally connects, but he's trapped in the corner, and it's all on Flamey. Three players against him. Line up for two, but he doesn't get the final frag. Almost transfers it, and Rage, I think, just about has this. It was a little bit close at the end there, but he gets the kit, he gets the round, and Hard Legion, one away from victory here on Overpass. An incredible try, though, from Flamey trying he got close. to get... Yeah, he did get close, being able to line up the first two, but yeah, the trade from Rage came in, he was able to get the defuse of plenty of time, and now it's map point for Hard Legion, but there is still the possibility of Navi bouncing back. If they get this round, going into the next one, then... Looking at an eco for Hired Legion, sure, then they'll be able to buy into the final round to try and play for the overtime. But even then, that would be lacking a small bit. So if Navi get this one, there is still a high possibility that we could be sending it into overtime here on Overpass. Which I wouldn't mind. It's been an exciting one so far. I would, uh, I would definitely be down to keep this up. But a reminder, this is only the first map of the series. So there could be still a lot more to come your way. Krad again aggressing over towards Long. We've seen this from him a couple of times, but it's not been for a while. Does manage to nearly catch the double kill, but simple as always with just some very, very quick reactions flicks over. Took quite a bit of damage though, so it's not a terrible spot for Hard Legion, but I don't think Navi are too worried about dropping it into the four on four. Yeah, even when you think you've caught simple off guard, you can never be sure because he can just land shots like that. And a very important shot to land because if Krag gets away with two kills there, that could be round, that could be game over, but Simple keeps it into this 4v4. 
Fecto has been playing in connector in most of these rounds. He's here again in this one. Meanwhile, on the Hard Legion side, they've got two players committed to the B site, two players committed to A, but having heard a couple of nades on B, one of those players who was on the A side of the map is starting to look down towards B now. And let's see if Hard Legion can strike while the iron is hot here. 38 seconds left for Na'Vi, and Rage is holding in the bathrooms as Na'Vi bring this bomb back up to A. Yeah, up close to the up, that's dangerous, especially as the uh, as the molly goes in, sorry, to actually flush him out of that position. Forced to drop the smoke down, which obviously gives away that he is still up close, but he could still have the opportunity to get something done. Simple finds the flank up through B. In the meantime, Flamey had already walked out onto the bomb site, cuts off the rotation in heaven on Forrester, who had no idea. And the B bomb site's gone. This round is pretty much over. At this point, they may as well just go ahead and save these weapons to give themselves something into this next round. The problem is. Boomich right now, he's lurking around mid. He could still go ahead and cut off a couple of these players. Yeah, some very nice close-range shots there from Simple. Make sure that Na'Vi hold on to this round win. I was a bit worried. Simple was planting on very low health. If there was a nade, it could have actually cost Na'Vi. But thankfully, Hard Legion were out of utility at that point. So it doesn't come into play. And Na'Vi just making sure the bomb will go off. Babysitting the bomb at the end here. Oh, Simple takes a tiny bit more damage. I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead to the bomb. That's the AWP dropped for now. Na'Vi's money's fine, though, so it's not going to make a difference. And oh, Rage almost rushed down at the end there. But he saves over the AWP. Hard Legion, though, unable to buy around it. They're going to have to take another low buy here. And that means we could very well be going to round 30, Dean. I'm not going to jinx it. I'm not going to say we are going there just yet, because there are these two guns saved over. We'll see what Hard Legion can muster up in this round. I did point out, though, that even coming into this next round, sure, 2400, it's going to give a relatively decent buy, but they will still be lacking a bit on the side of Hard Legion. So a good opportunity here. I think Navi definitely can do this. Two rounds in a row, very, very achievable for them. But as you pointed out, with an up and an M4 still in play in this one, this is still a round that they have to be a little bit cautious in. Especially with Rage. He's been playing relatively well, or at least in general for the team, does play well. A little bit slower on this one. It's Forrester and Crad who really have been kind of the ones spearheading this performance for Hard Legion. But he's still very, very capable. As is Fiat, even if he's having a little bit of a tougher game in general. 8-20 to 20 right now, actually. I didn't notice that he's been struggling so much. He is right now trying to redeem himself a little bit. If he could get this kill on Electronic, there's no one, there's no one else over towards Long Rider to try and try it, so it would be a great advantage, and even a potential weapon. Unfortunately, being so far down, I doubt they recover the AK, but it's given them the 5 on 4, and has forced Navi now to commit towards B. The issue is his teammates, so far, not going to be finding success with those pistols. I've seen Electronic lose a couple of those solo fights on A now. This time he loses out again and that gives another gun to potentially be saved hard legion aren't trying the round win but saving three guns will assist their buy because you were saying earlier the money was maybe going to be a question mark for hard legion well if they save three weapons i think that question mark is completely cancelled out obviously it's not guaranteed they're going to save these guns this navi might want to hunt them down at the end here but it is going to be going to round 30 dean that's the main thing Na'Vi have got themselves a chance to bring it to overtime here on Overpass. Very back and forth map so far. Hard Legion came out to a strong start, but Na'Vi have worked hard to get back into this game. And now the question is, can they bring us to overtime? Round number 30, it's either overtime or Hard Legion winning in regulation. And Hard Legion's buy is going to be good to go with all those three guns being saved. Yeah, I mean, if, for anyone who may have only joined us perhaps a few minutes ago, because I think we started with maybe like 4,000 viewers and we now have 28,000. So there's definitely a few people oh, that Jesus. weren't here in the beginning. It was at one point 9-1 to Hard Legion. So yeah, Navi have certainly done a great job being able to recover this back. And at this point, they're only a single round off of taking it to overtime. As you said, though, a little bit of a save there for Crad with the AK definitely helps them out a bit. And we'll give them the nades and such that they do need. But this is it. This is the last chance in regulation for Hard Legion to go ahead and close this one out. And... Just not let it go to overtime where you would where you would at that point imagine that the experience for Navi will help them shine true. I like that Electronics got a buddy when he pushes oh. A long this time. Hello, Perfecto holding connector. Crad has been getting aggressive throughout this half. 
And that one might be costly for them because this time Crad has been picked off cleanly. He generally been getting away with pushes like that, but this time Navi are ready for it. And now with a man advantage, Navi are the ones who hold all the cards in this round. Yeah, our Legion's sticking with this more aggressive hold around the batch rooms, and it is understandable. They want to be able to put a stop to that push before it can move forward. They need to be getting the kills in this position, and for the moment, it does obviously allow them to retain the info about what's happening around this short area. The issue is, they could, in theory, be getting flanked out from long, so it's something they do have to be a little bit cautious of. But for now, Navi, they're not making the commitment. The bomb is still back mm. in the spawn, pretty much. There's 35 seconds left. I do believe Flamey was moving back initially. Now Electronic is going to go ahead and get it. So I would imagine with him moving all the way back around through spawn from long, that they are going to be taking this one towards B, where right now it is going to be Forrester alongside Kinky to try and hold it down. And... Unfortunately, not really having any nades apart from a couple flashes. This is still going to be uncomfortable. The bomb is so far behind that Na'Vi are not going to be loving this as they move into the bomb site. Forrester gets one. Forrester gets three kills on the hold. What is going on?